And welcome back everyone to yet another episode of Axes and Allies. Now in this episode we're going to be playing as the Axis. Now I'll also go ahead and explain the rules a little bit. You have your rules and variations here and depending on the version of the game they will be modified some. You have East and West Canada which means that they can go between the two territories. You have Submerge which will allow a player submarine to submerge if um, given the option to. Naval occupation, place new naval units in enemy occupied sea zones. Aerial retreat, allows aircraft to retreat from an amphibious assault. And only after an amphibious assault apparently, which I wasn't sure about. Paratrooper units, which means that you can put a unit of infantry into a bomber and move them wherever, however you cannot use that bomber. You have Scorched Earth, which will allow you to destroy any insure AA guns. Two Dice Heavy Bombers, which is apparently just, you know, no weapons development, which I don't know why it labels that. No, in, no new industries, pretty self-explanatory, kamikaze, uh, means that you can have planes go as far as they want to, however they will end up um, essentially dying. One Panama Sea Zone, which combines the two areas around Panama into one zone, even though it doesn't work that well. It it's a bit buggy sometimes. Uh, Axis advantage means that they end up getting um, the Germans get uh, jet power and the Japanese get the uh, super submarines. USSR can't attack for for the first round, and the rest two are not that important. What I am going to go ahead and do though, I'm going to go here into unit edit, and you can essentially do whatever you want. Whoopsies! You can essentially do whatever you want um, based by this. However, what I'm more interested in. If you go here into the Kremlin, you have this menu, which is not in earlier versions of the game. And what you can do, you can assign nations neutrals, and uh, these neutrals will actually have um, IPC values and that sort of thing. And they'll have at least one unit um, spawn in there. In game, if you take over a neutral, you don't get um, any bonuses. And you even have some scenarios here as well. Now, I didn't show, show off the. Um, Axis scenarios because I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to, however, activate all of the uh, allied scenarios for this thing. I'm going to go ahead and let you read these really quick, so just go ahead and pause if you want to take a look. Alright, go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and activate all of these. Yep, yep, I know. Come on, stop beeping at me. The, uh, the ally, the, uh, sorry, the Axis ones are really stupid, by the way. Uh, for, I'll go ahead and show you these anyway. Yeah, South American powers, not, it wouldn't have happened, honestly, in real life whatsoever. Uh, that's a good, good joke. Everyone kind of says that, but still, it's a good joke. Town Navy does better, which, eh, I, that's possible. And the parachute assaults on Syria and Iraq, that's like, really stupid. That's all I have to say. And they retain control of uh, French Madagascar, even though they never had it in the first place. Madagascar was under Vichy French, French control, which, depending on who you ask, was Axis powered, but it was kind of neutral. It, really depends on your definition but I'm just saying it's yeah not gonna happen and the Japanese ones yeah yeah, yeah that's uh gains control of Hawaii ha ha good joke yeah and China joins, joins pan fuck wow good job me good job brain yeah China joined Japan that's I don't even need to explain why that's stupid. This one's even more stupid, where they take French Madagascar. That's even more stupid. They can't even go through fucking India. They can't get to even Ceylon. Ceylon. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. There you go. I know how to pronounce that correctly. How the fuck are they going to get to Africa? 
Do you think there's just some guy going way over there in the distance? There is land. We shall take it for our empire. And then everyone there is like, who the fuck are you? But anyway, that, and I'll even assign the neutrals too. Um, USSR, they get Mongolia, they can have Afghanistan as well. Germany, I will give them Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland. The UK, they get, um, oh, excuse me, whoa. Richard de Oro, god damn it, I can't say the word. Richard de Oro, which is a present day Western Sahara, or, you know, Morocco, depending on who you listen to. It's Western Sahara, or I don't remember the name for it anymore. They get that, they get Angola, they get Ire, which is Ireland, and they get Mozambique. Uh, Turkey and Saudi Arabia. Japanese get nothing. The USA get Argentina, Peru, and Venezuela. Fantastic. Now let's go ahead and done with that. And go ahead and start up the game. They're attacking me in the Baltic Sea for whatever weird reason, but okay. I'm not going to be able to hit them back, but my subs can submerge, which I'm a-okay with. They're attacking me in Manchuria because they actually have the troop strength to do this. And sometimes you can win this, sometimes not. I might be able to. Yep, he ended up retreating. The Russians are really the only ones that like to retreat from battles. Ironically enough, they're really the only ones that like to retreat from battles. But as you can see, they have control over Finland Norway. They left their sub up in there, and they have a lot more units in here, because normally what you would do um, on your first turn as Germany, you had a few things you could do. You could go ahead and go straight into Karelia with the units that you had, and you could normally win. Um, sometimes you couldn't, but now it's pretty much just you building up and um, just having them not attack Sweden. Now, I'm not entirely sure if they can go from Finland, Norway to Western Europe, Depending on the version they can, sometimes they can, sometimes they can't. Same as uh, through Turkey. You can't go from Eastern Europe into Turkey, or Turkey into Eastern Europe for whatever weird reason. Apparently, straits are huge oceans in this um, timeline. But with Germany, what I'm going to go ahead and do, just, um, just buy up stuff as much as you can. You want to kind of adopt somewhat of a Russian strategy and just build everything. Don't waste your money on expensive stuff. It's really not worth your time. I'm going to go ahead and give them the Ukraine, because I definitely do not need it. Move all of my people, not all of my people up. Oh god, what would be better suited? Yeah, probably this. I'm sending you down here. My keep in mind that uh, here in Africa, you're pretty much going to lose unless you're really careful, because um, they have a industry down in here and a whole bunch of units and they also have an industry here in Australia. Uh, the the AI will, would normally leave Australia completely open and you could take it whenever you want to but uh, in this time they just keep units there for no real they just keep them there. That's really about all, all that is. Now with my, uh, my subs here, you only have three subs. I believe you get more um, in the alternate as well going to go ahead and move them up here and send all of my planes out to destroy this navy because that's especially what you want to go ahead and do and I'll move these guys out I shouldn't have to worry about them never mind nope hey no I'll leave one guy in here just in case because it could take this uh, tank and land in Spain which would be annoying move you forward move all of you you want to keep um, the capital well stockpiled. Why am I missing a plane? Oh, they're they're both here. I'm like, why am I missing two planes? A lot of planes being missing. And this bomber, um, I deal with you, or I can go ahead. I'll go ahead and bomb here just because I can, and move you down here as well. What remains of you go here. There we go, and we'll see what ends up working. I'm not... Again, Africa tends to be a lost cause, but we'll just have to see. 
Yep, I am taking Gibraltar in combat. Did the one thing that Spain could never do? Ha 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 ha. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get like fucking shanked or something for that. Because you're bombing, I end up uh, shooting down four IPCs. And whenever you have a land combat situation like this where you send a unit in, you have to deal with the naval one first. I somehow. Really? Ugh. Why is that always the case? In that battle, I always fucking lose the dice roll. And he always gets away. I'll attack. I am getting rid of both of them. I only lost one. That's fine. Hopefully I won't lose a plane in here. God, I probably will. Or at least my subs. So there we go. He's dead. And I actually only lost one sub. They're going to die next turn, but I only lost one sub. Now in combat, you can all move back. Yep, yep. Everyone, um, go ahead and just sit here for the moment. But yeah, um, again, Africa, you tend to just die. So you want to be a little bit careful. You go ahead and land here too. Put the tank in here. Everyone else go here. Have some fun. Now what are you going to do? The UK tends to do a certain move. Yep, you got getting rid of one of my subs. Don't know why you only sent one plane after it though. You could have sent the other ones. Now you're buying my IPCs. You're invading Anglo-Egyptian Sudan, as well as dealing with the naval combat here. Will I hit you? Eh, one for one. Oh, we ended up retreating, huh. Uh, I say that as the Russians tend to be the only one. Uh, I submarine hit, so that guy's not going to be able to fire back. He's going to get rid of his sub. Is he going to end up retreating? No. Maybe I'll get a hit on him? No. Really? God, you're like the fucking worst battleship ever! And uh, your battleship's attacking the Japanese uh, transport in the Philippine Sea. Take him out. Well, not take him out, but hit him. Nope. And uh, they did not slap an industry in India. Normally, again, that's something that they tend to do. So now I actually have a choice, because um, sometimes you'll end up losing Manchuria in the first round. So... I could either put an industry here in French Indochina or here in Manchuria itself. And both aren't horrible options. I mean, hell, you can even put them in Quintalm too, but I prefer not to. Yeah, I'm gonna buy an industry, and I'm also gonna buy a, a sub. Do I really need to buy a sub? Yeah, I need to buy a sub. Go ahead and do that, and I will go ahead and just uh, transfer some people here. I could go after China. That would kind of leave some areas open, though. Uh, screw it. I don't... It, uh, it really does depend on how... Uh, I'll move one in. Move you here. You, you. I should... Oh, yes, I do have an extra plane. Um, I actually want this extra plane to help defeat this. I don't have... Actually, no, I don't have fodder. I don't want to do that. Nope. Go move up in here. Defend your home waters. I have two planes I can bring to support as well. And a bomber. Nope, nope, not there. And a bomber. And that would be kind of stupid, especially since that bomb would have to uh, defeat two infantry, and yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, I do have French Indochina pretty much exposed, however, they can only come after, me with, come after me with infantry, so I should be okay. God, I kind of hope so. Only lost one. There we go. Go ahead and send all of you back down here, even though having some fighters up there would be kind of nice, because now it's a three to... Yeah, I, I don't know. I think I'll just put in Indochina, so a little bit more safe. Throw one in here, throw it there, there we go. And they're going to take Libya in combat, yeah, what a shock. And you're sending a plane, a plane after me in the North Sea. And... It, the, the thing is that for whatever weird reason, oh yeah, there's also a sub in there too, I forgot about that. But for whatever weird reason, uh, normally, I'll just go and show this, oh god, no, shut up. I wanted to show something. Uh, <laughs> that is like the MVP of subs. Or, you know, all their planes just suck. 
I think that's all. That's I think that's just all it is. Yeah, I guess a non-combat move, and it's weird like that where uh, I may not be able to escape that combat for whatever really dumb reason, and he ended up somehow coming through it. The game's a bit buggy, and I think it's just because maybe it's the way that subs end up working, where because they moved it into a non-combat and it wasn't because they only moved it in non-combat, it doesn't register as the area being under attack like it would normally. Or maybe with just subs it's a little bit strange. Who the hell knows anymore? Not gonna buy anything in weapon development, just gonna go ahead and buy some more jazz and stuff. I'll buy two tanks. Everyone gets moved into here for the lulz, cause why the hell not? I need all that manpower. These planes can go ahead. I don't, do I really need that many planes? I do not need that many planes going out against this. I will send one plane to assist, and uh, I'll I'll do this. Can't reach. Um, that only leaves me with one plane for that, but I, that should be more than plenty. Um. Hmm. Thing is, I can't really, like, attack anywhere. I can go ahead... I'll go hit French Eagle Tori after for the, for the hell of it. Yeah, I don't want to attack there, because that'd be stupid. Move you out of Gibraltar. Move you this way. Move you that way. Yeah, Germany tends to be a little bit more penned in than, um, than you know, I would like any of my uh, games to be. A lot of, uh... Combat here, I attack, you can't hit me back. Here, I'll probably like lose both my tanks, knowing me. Yeah, of course. Come on. Unless I'm gonna lose a tank, yep. Bye, tanks. You know, you did such a horrible job in the first place. This bomber, you got hit. Good, you can't hit me back. I'll somehow miss it twice, and this guy will... You got a 50-50 chance, and you both fucking missed. Now you both hit, and he's gonna... <clears throat> I hate all of you. I hate every single one of you. You deserve to die. The come on. <sighs> no, I'm, I'm gonna go away. I'm not... I'm not even gonna fucking trust that, because, you know, my planes are gonna get fucking absolutely destroyed from that for no good fucking reason. I'm not mad, you know, I only wasted, you know, planes. There's nothing wrong with wasting planes, they're, they're fucking worthless. Who are you talking about? Oh, God. Yeah, you're showing my APCs because, you know, you want to be a dick. I'm going to lose uh, this tank here because, you know, my A-guns can never shoot that thing down. Yeah, you're gone. Take some with you at least. Thank you. I guess. Tag me in the Solomon Sea. Huh? No, that submarine that I completely forgot is gone now. No. Boo. Hiss. Boo. I'll buy that and um hmm. I'll buy another sub. You always want to have some fodder units with you uh, in naval combat. God, they have two carriers, but they have no planes in the area. Why did you buy another carrier? That was stupid. You know, to be fair, I'm kind of fine with you being stupid, but still, it's like, what the hell, man? Why'd you do that? Here, um, they actually don't have that many units out and about, so... Because normally the Soviets, like, really reinforce this area, but I think that's really only, um... Whatever the hell they want to. But I could send you... I could send you to the Far East. Well, if that's the case, then I want to move you up here. Unload you there, hit you there, I 
think you can also help. I think. I would ha I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. Um, you go ahead and move there. Do I want to move you... I'm moving into Mongolia. Yeah, I'll go ahead and move you into Mongolia. Again, something that Japan could never do, even though they didn't really try to do that. Just saying, I mean, they kind of, they never really went after Mongolia, or even the Soviets, you know, it wasn't until, it wasn't until 1945 where the Soviets were like, hey, boo, we're gonna eat you now, and they're like, oh, shit. Yep, go ahead and bombard. Let's see if this bombardment thing actually works. Yeah, they'd be both dead. Nah, there we go. So they can still counterattack. Okay. I thought they couldn't if they got destroyed with the bombardments, but who the fuck do I know? I mean, I know a few people, but still. And really? How did every single fucking one of you miss? How? I always like to be a pain in the ass sometimes. So I'm gonna lose Mongolia soon, probably. But, oh my god, really? Oh yeah, I need to move you. You can go... No, I don't want you there. Go into the water. Three infantry here, and put a sub there, and... Well, I already said, but um, I can only put three infantry in here. Because that's what I am, that's what the IPC value is. Now what are you going to do? You're going to do bugger all. The, the American AI tends to do bugger all most of the time. Germans on the lost because they lost one of the planes. Japanese are on the lost. Are on the lost. 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 Yeah. 